What's up everyone, welcome to Ola Testing Shit. Today I'm trying out the JSD Toneforge Jeff Loomis plugin. Yay! As you might know, I'm a big fan of Nevermore and, you know, the legacy that Jeff Loomis was a part of. Jeff Loomis is now playing in Arch Enemy and uh, definitely one of my bigger influences when it comes to guitar playing. Dead Heart in a Dead World, man. One of my favorite metal riffing albums. I remember that coming out and I was just blown away about the production on, you know, it was Andy Sneap who mixed and produced the album, but it was just so fixed, so nasty and, you know, it was the first time I really got interested, like, into metal riffing on 7-string guitar Jeff now has his own plugin together with Joey Sturgis Tone, uh, his own Toneforge plugin and that's what I'm playing today, how exciting Single shame for this video is guitar going into my Apogee Ensemble interface and then into the plugin, that's it it comes with three different amplifiers, you have a clean uh, not sure what type of amplifier this is you have rhythm, which looks like a rectifier, you know, I, I kind of I, I, I see some similarities with a rectifier right here and then we have a lead, which obviously is like an EVH, I can see it on the stripes so, three different amplifiers you have two different types of uh, front boosts you have a guitar compressor and an overdriven uh, and seeing that it says balance here, it's probably a Maxon OD808 and uh, then we have the amplifier section right here and uh, this is basically a single path down here uh, as you might have assumed already after the amplifier we have the cabinet section where you can switch different cabinets you have uh, both a match cab, you have a classic JST 4x12 cabinet and then you also have a couple of Jens Bulgren digital impulse responses, you know, uh, Bulgren who is a Swedish producer uh, who's done a lot of really 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 kick-ass sounding albums so, uh, and you can also use your own impulse response after that we have a uh, FX, post effects overview, we have uh, some sort of like a multi-effect I would say, it's a reverb, it's a tremolo, it's, it's a space machine you know, and then we have an echo man which is basically like a delay after that we have a post EQ section and last but not least we have this which is a compressor basically, a dynamics compressor and this is probably the first time I see this in a guitar plugin but basically what this does, this has me excited by the way, I, I, I just want to add that but basically what this does is that you can control the low end of your tone in the plugin itself I would normally use like a multiband compressor afterwards, you know, tame the low end when you're chugging, you know there's a lot of low end happening the good thing with a multiband compressor is that you can remove some of that excess low end but while you're still riffing you know, it doesn't cut the bass completely it just cuts the bass where it's needed which is basically when you're palm muting and you can see it working here as you see the blue line here going down that's the bass being tamed and when I'm playing a chord up here doesn't really do too much, but when I'm playing down here you can see it moving a little bit more, so it basically works as a multiband compressor so uh, that's a nice feature, I like that immediately right now I made a rhythm patch using the dual rectifier pretty straightforward, you can also switch between EL34s and 606 606 EL34 I don't hear much of a difference, but okay <laughs> let's turn it on and off the individual overdrives right here okay, without the overdrive, I mean, it's pretty f***ing chunky this is just a compressor working that's nice, that's just a rectifier right there without any type of boost
like that. I really like the sound of this rectifier plugin right here. This is something I found a little bit weird. If you go to the pedal section right here, uh, you, you have to click the individual pedals to start edit it, so it's an extra click. I mean, I wouldn't mind being able to kind of set the, you know, on and off in the different settings in this image right here. Because now if I want to, you know, turn on the overdrive, I can't click here. I have to click here once and then click it on and then go back. So now I'm using the EVH amplifier. Without any of the overdrives or compressors engaged. There's a strut button here. Which I think is kind of like a pre-filter, just, you know, it scoops the bass. Okay, if you crank the gain... Okay, chunky. <laughs> That sounds great, man. If you go to the cabinet section, you can either have a single cabinet or a dual cabinet setup. And you have two different cabinets to choose from, uh, the classic 4x12 cab or the matched JST cab. I think the matched cab is basically maybe a favorite of Jeff Loomis that he's used a lot. And it's basically a set preset. So you can't really switch any microphones in this cab. You can just play it, you know. <laughs> And then you have the classic cabinet, which has four different microphone options. So you have a condenser. Sounds good. 421. Off axis 57. On axis 57. Sounds pretty good. And then we also have the Bogren Digital, which are basically four different impulses. The Bogren Digital Cab sounds a little bit more like what you would want if you were mixing an album, like putting a guitar into a mix. It's, it seems more like it's mix ready in that sense. So that's good to have. Then you can load in your own impulse response. Am I going to try? Do that? This is one of my own uh, impulse responses of uh, one of my Hesu 2x12s. <laughs> Bass heavy, but that's cool. I like bass, okay? I'm really liking this rectifier right here. It sounds kick ass. Yeah, man, I like that. Cleans. That's a good clean. So, yeah, you have the clean right here, clean amplifier. You have a clarity thing. What does that do? It removes some bass. You know, some 250 or 180 type bass. Is that magic? 
Okay. Post effects. So right now I have the echo man engaged. Just with a short ass delay right here. Just creates a little bit of drama. And as you know, on the internet, drama is something that people want and crave. I know people are gonna complain about, you know, you're just playing low tune, motherfucker. Okay, I'm switching guitar. So you're happy, okay? <laughs> Sounds great. Let's go back to clean. Let's try the effects a little bit here, okay. Right now I'm on clouds. As you can hear. A little bit of a modulation to the to the reverb. Listen to this. Ooh, a little spooky. Choral. It's nice. Shimmer. Space, you know? Space hasn't hurt anyone yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Then we have room. Cool. Plate. Great. Sprang. Blood! This has me intrigued. What is blood? Wow. Blood is the most beautiful setting. Blood. I thought it would be something super evil, but it's just really nice. Fucking hell, that's great. I forgot to say, but you also have a tuner, obviously. You know, regular standard tuner, you have a question mark, which is, uh, I guess, the help. Ooh, I like this. That's this uh, Jackson Keller right there. So you get to the manual immediately, that's nice. Then there's also the live mode, so you can connect your uh, MIDI foot pedal and you can uh, go live. Play live in front of people, just like on the picture right here, they're playing live. But you can switch scenes and, you know, presets and whatnot using the live function. So that's cool. You can go from mono to stereo. Great! Shit! There you go! That's the Tone Forge Jeff Loomis for you right there. I think it sounds really f***ing good, to be honest. The dual rectifier in here is probably one of the better dual rectifier in plugin formats I've tried so far. Ooh, I forgot to play my favorite riff. I have to go back. Sorry. Be patient, guys. I forgot my riff. The riff I wanted to play. The riff that makes me seem like I'm a little bit better at guitar playing than I'm, than I'm really am. There you go. That was the impressive Nevermore riff. 
that uh, I forgot to play. Anyways, I'm really liking this plugin right here. Uh, not sure how much it's gonna cost, but uh, I'm just really happy and proud to see Jeff have his own plugin. He definitely deserves it. When he sent me a text asking if I would uh, check out his plugin, I was very, very happy. He's one of my heroes, man. And this plugin sounds excellent. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you did not, I'm sorry. All right, thank you so much for watching. Guys, see you next time. Thank you.